the India Qatar controversy are making headlines now. The eight Indian nationals, the eight Indian individuals have been awarded the death sentence by the court of the Qatar. And these eight individuals were, were the eight, eight ex Indian Navy servicemen. So let's see that why the Qatar court has awarded death sentence to them. Hello and welcome to the in-depth series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video we will be discussing the news or the topic of India and Qatar. Eight Indian nationals being awarded the death sentence. About the timeline, first we will be looking at the news. Then what has happened over the years into the case? What is India's stance on it? Permanent court of arbitration and in the end prelims MCQ. Topic is of relevance from general studies paper 2 that is international relations from exam perspective you should be able to know that what is india's stance in it india qatar relations and per, what is permanent court of arbitration the news talks about qatar court sentences eight indian navy veterans to death it means the death sentence has been given to the eight indian nationals the ex indian navy veterans so, co court of Qatar, that is the Qatar court have given them the death sentence. So, why is it so? So, what has happened is the eight former personnel of the Indian Navy who was detained in Doha. Doha is the capital of Qatar in the year 2022. Now, they have been sentenced to death by the Qatar court. And the reason for the death sentence has not been made public. It has been speculated. It has been, there has been speculations that the reason can be spinach. So, the exact reason has not been given. And the Indian government is saying that the Qataris authorities have not provided the reasons for the arrest. The reasons for the arrest have not been given and now the death sentence has been given to the eight people. So, this is happening in Qatar. So, to know about the location of the Qatar becomes important. So, Qatar is a country, you can say the Arab country which is, which is present in the Middle East and if we talk about the location of Qatar, then this is Saudi Arabia and Qatar shares its border with Saudi Arabia. This is the location of Qatar and it is present in the Persian Gulf. So, this is Qatar. Qatar is, when we talk about the land size, then it is not a very large country in terms of land. So, it is a small country and it is located by the side of Saudi Arabia. And Qatar is also a GCC member, that is Gulf Cooperation Council. So, whenever we talk about Qatar, why Qatar is important for India and why is it that there has been talks between the di diplomatic talks between Indian side and the Qatar side over the death sentence that has been given to the Indian nationals because Qatar and India over the years have shared a very good relations. The diplomatic relations, the bilateral relation, the political relation, the economic relation has been really very good. So, if we talk about the topic of remittances, then India takes a lot of remittances from Qatar because there are so many Indian nationals which go, which which are present in Qatar, the Indian nationals population in Qatar is very high and they send a lot of remittances. So, Qatar is one of those countries which has a good share of remittance in India and then the expatriate Indian population is also very high in Qatar and India imports the LNG that is the liquefied natural gas also from Qatar. Then when we talk about the political thing, then the Qatar is a member of the Gulf Cooperation Council. So, that is that also becomes very important. And when we talk about India's United Nations Security Council membership, then the backing of Qatar is also very important. And now, as of now, present scenario, if we will see that then if we talk about the Middle East region, then the Arab countries are, are not as of now are silent because of the Israel and Hamas war and being an Arabic country, the Qatar also has, also has, also supports the Palestinian cause and that is why at this point of 
time qatar becomes very important for india so these are these are few of the points that we also need to keep in mind so the geographical location of qatar is fine we need to be very careful with that it is present in the persian gulf now the timeline what has happened over the years with the eight indian personnel that has been given the death sentence by the qatar court and the charges is considered to be espionage and specific charges has not been given from the qatar's side so if we talk about the year 2022 august eight men along with two others were arrested on undeclared charges so eight men were arrested on and the charges which was given it they were undeclared then october 3 2022 first counselor access was granted to the eight men then comes march 2023 last of multiple bail pleas filed for the veterans was rejected so the bail plea was rejected in march 2023 then come march 29 the trial under qatari court or the law began so it was in march that the trial began then october 26 the court awarded the death penalty to all eight men and these eight men are the ex indian navy personnel then what has happened is what is india's stance in this and it has been said that these eight people who have been given the death sentence by the qatar court it has been said that they were working for a private company and this private company was when where these eight people were working this this private company was working is for the induction of the italian submarines so at that point of time they were arrested and then they were given the death sentence as of now so what has been india's stance in this case is that the ministry of external affairs has been closely monitoring the situation so the ministry of external affairs and the diplomats and the diplomatic talk between qatar and india are going on as of now and they have extended every possible support to the arrested sailors and at various diplomatic and political levels india and qatar are engaged with each other and india has maintained a stance similar to the one it took during the enrica lexi italian marine case so in this case what happened was that during this case it was said that at kerala coast or around kerala coast there was marines from italy side and these people shot two indian fishermen and they shot two indian fishermen so these these people that two individuals from italy side who shot indian fishermen they were arrested by indians they were arrested by india but what happened in this case was that it was said that because they were it, italy's nationals so italy said that the it they come under italy's jurisdiction so the case or the trial should take place within italy so the individuals were brought back to italy and now this is what also india is saying that what has happened in the enrica lexi italian marines case that in the same way during this time when qatar court has given the death sentence to the indian nationals that is in, ex indian navy servicemen because they are indian nationals so this case should also come under india's jurisdiction and this case should also come under india for trial so this is what india is saying as of now and because of this the diplomatic ties and the political relations be between india and qatar are going on on this topic on regular basis and the indian government at that point of time had taken a position in accordance with the international laws maritime zones act 1976 indian penal code the code of criminal procedure and the provisions of unclause 1980 two so keeping all these legal provisions into the mind at that point of time that is during the time of enrica lexi italian marine case india took this decision 
so keeping all these things into mind now also india should take a decision and india has taken this stance that what was followed earlier should be followed now also because at that point of time all the international laws were kept into mind and now also all the international laws should be kept into mind now let us talk about the permanent court of arbitration it was established in the year 1899 and the headquarters for the permanent court of arbitration is present in hague netherlands and it is an intergovernmental organization intergovernmental organization means many governments are associated with it and the aim is to serve the international community in the field of dispute resolution so whenever there is a dispute to resolve the dispute they will be working with the international community so that any kind of dispute if any kind of dispute rises then the resolution for that dispute can also be taken place and it also has a financial assistance fund so the as the name itself is telling it will be assisting in the financial cases so it also has a financial assistance fund the, and the aim of it is helping developing countries meet part of the costs involved in international arbitration so whatever cost will be involved in the international arbitration the financial assistance fund will try to help in in bearing the cost so this was about the permanent court of arbitration establishment of year 1899 headquarters hague netherlands intergovernmental organization aim is to serve the international community in the field of dispute resolution and also has the financial assistance fund now in the end of prelims mcq and people need to tell me the answer in the comment section consider the following statements regarding the permanent court of arbitration you have to talk about the correct statement first statement is it is an intergovernmental organization second statement is that its headquarters is situated in the hague netherlands so these are the two statements codes are one only two only both one and two neither one not two so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing